This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1115, Five Signs You're Not Ready to Retire, by Mike Ballou of eggstack.com. And I am your host and narrator, and my name is Dan, and welcome to another Sunday edition of Optimal Finance Daily. I appreciate you being here every single day, including weekends, listening to some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet in audio form. And for this Sunday edition, I'm gonna keep the intro nice and short for you, so let's get right to our content as we start optimizing your life. Five Signs You're Not Ready to Retire by Mike Ballou of eggstack.com Retirement is the cherry atop a life well-lived, but it requires careful planning. You may be anxious to bid farewell to work, but you must be ready. Here are five signs you're not ready to retire. Number one, financially dependent children. As pointed out in my post called Still Supporting Your Adult Children, financially dependent children are the number one reason Americans are not saving enough for retirement. It's something Clark Howard has been preaching for years. Save for retirement first, then live your life. In other words, adjust your lifestyle to suit with your income net retirement savings. We have an epidemic today of failure to launch young people who are perfectly capable of supporting themselves but choose to mooch off their parents instead. What do birds do when their chicks get old enough to fly? They kick them out of the nest. Cut the cord and set your adult children free. You'll actually be doing them a favor. It's not something you don't already know. You just need to be honest with yourself. Growing a spine helps too. Number two, home mortgage. Are you five to 10 years out from retirement but still have 20 years or more left on your mortgage? Think you're ready to retire? Think again. For starters, you should have never taken out a 30-year mortgage. For a few hundred bucks more a month, you could have gotten a 15-year mortgage. If you are in this situation, don't despair. There's still time to right the ship. Most home mortgages allow you to pay more than your regular monthly payment. You can pay it off before you retire. You just need to increase the payments. Sit down with your lender or use an online calculator like the one from NerdWallet to help you understand how much more you need to pay. When your mortgage is paid off, you will still have to pay property taxes and insurance, but it will be significantly less than what you're paying now. Number three, personal debt. Your home mortgage is not the only thing you need to pay off before you retire. Walking away from a job with thousands or even tens of thousands in personal debt is a recipe for disaster. Ever heard of a boomerang retiree? They retire and discover they have to return to work because they don't have enough money. Credit cards are a wonderful convenience, but they can become a trap as they have for millions of Americans. If you're accustomed to carrying a balance on your credit card, here's something you may not know they still let you use them if you pay them off every month. The credit card companies make so much money, they are perfectly willing to let you use their card even if you never pay a dime in interest. They still give you rewards. It's a losing proposition for them, but they are that sure you will trip up at some point and have to start paying interest. Number four, insufficient savings. You've no doubt heard that it's never too early to begin saving for retirement. It takes a lot of money to make up the difference between social security and the typical American lifestyle, not to mention the rising cost of healthcare. We have talked at length about the need to save for retirement as well as determining how much you need to save. We won't belabor the point, but it's important nonetheless. Number five, lack of planning. We've reached the end of our list of signs you're not ready to retire. Lack of planning is as big a concern as insufficient funds when it comes to being a boomerang retiree you will return to the workforce saying, it wasn't for me, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Yes, it is, you just didn't have a plan. If you think you're all set to retire, but you've got no hobbies and no social network, you're not ready to retire. You probably think you'll find something to do, but you won't. You'll end up watching cable news all day until you go bananas. The average retirement spans 18 years. That's a lot of cable news. Get involved in something, find an area of interest. Pick up a new hobby that you enjoy. Join an organization that appeals to you. Volunteer. You should have a few irons in the fire before you sail off into the sunset. Otherwise, it's going to be a long, slow slog. Good planning dictates that you get your affairs in order before you retire. Maybe you need to downsize and move out of that two-story house. Do the two of you really need that much space? How are you going to climb those stairs when you break a hip? Speaking of broken bones, another thing to consider is your proximity to health care. If you're more than 45 minutes outside a major metropolitan area, you have good reason to move. You'll be seeing the doctor more often, and more importantly, if you have a heart attack or some other type of medical emergency, you need to be close to top-notch medical facilities. 
Conclusion Like marriage and children and divorce, retirement is a major life change. You may not have time to prepare for some other life changes, but you've got all the time in the world to prepare for retirement. If you haven't already, sit down and start thinking about how you will pay the bills when you retire. If you don't have a good answer for how you will fill your time or get much needed social interaction, you need to find one. Create a retirement plan that nurtures your mind, body, and soul. Your older self will be thankful when you do. You just listened to the post titled Five Signs You're Not Ready to Retire by Mike Ballou of eggstack.com. And that's another edition of Optimal Finance Daily in the books. I thank you so much for your continuing support and for listening each and every day. It is all thanks to you and our authors for helping us get here. So have a great rest of your weekend if you're listening in real time, and I will be back with you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.